Key point, the US Navy is reportedly looking at the larger, more heavily armed Seawolf characteristics as a model for its next SSNX submarine, even if the price is equal to $5.5 billion per submarine. By the late 1950s, the Soviet Navy's nuclear-powered submarines, starting with the November-class attack submarines, could dive twice as deep as most American submarines and often had higher maximum speeds. But they have a glaring drawback, they're much noisier. That meant American subs routinely detected and followed Soviet subs at long distances, a huge advantage in the event of a conflict. However, in the 1980s, the Soviet Navy began to improve its acoustic stealth game. Japanese-Norwegian companies Toshiba and Kongsberg have sold Soviet propeller milling technology that enables much quieter seven-blade propellers in the newer cooler-class attack submarines. A U.S. Navy study concluded that the Akula outperforms the U.S. flagship Los Angeles-class submarines for acoustic stealth capability and roughly matches the enhanced Los Angeles variant. When the Pentagon was flush with money during the Reagan administration, in 1983 the Navy began designing the biggest, baddest, and fastest and quietest attack submarines to restore its advantage over the Soviet Navy. The resulting Seawolf which was laid down by electric boat in October 1989 had a hull wider than the 7,000 ton Los Angeles, displaces more than 9,000 tons underwater and was 108 meters long. While the Los Angeles carries 37 torpedoes in four tubes, the Seawolf can carry 50 Mark 48 533 mm torpedoes or harpoon anti-ship missiles, which can be launched via eight 660 mm torpedo tubes. The size of the canister was meant to be future-proof if the Navy adopted a larger gun. The Sea Wolf can also use the canister to launch Tomahawk surface attack missiles. Sea Wolf submarines are built entirely from the higher strength HY-100 steel so they can survive a dive as deep as 490 meters. Its sails, conning tower, were strengthened for Arctic ice operations, where Soviet ballistic missile submarines were known to lurk. Additionally, her S-6W's pressurized water reactor gave the Sea Wolf an incredible maximum speed of 35 knots, 40 miles per hour, enabling her to pursue disengaging foes. But what's most impressive is the Sea Wolf's advances in stealth acoustics, it's significantly quieter than the enhanced Los Angeles flagship at 95 decibels. Ocean background noise average is 90 decibels. Better yet, the Sea Wolf's pump jet propulsion system allows it to maintain acoustic stealth even while cruising at 20 knots, whereas most submarines are forced to crawl at 5 to 12 knots to stay apart. The 7.3 meter diameter circular sonar array in the bow is complemented by wide opening wing arrays and TB16D and TB29 towing arrays. It feeds sensor data into the BSY-2 Seawolf combat system, which can engage multiple targets simultaneously using Mark 48 torpedoes aimed either via cables connected to the submarine, or using their own organic sonar. As such, the Sea Wolf was designed to be the ultimate submarine hunter, more stealthy, more armed, and able to match or surpass its adversary in speed and maneuverability. This amazing ability came at a heavy price, namely $33 billion for 12 Sea Wolves, reduced from the original plan for 29 Sea Wolves. Adjusted for 2018 dollars, the result is nearly $5 billion per sub, three times the cost of the Los Angeles ships. HY-100 steel also typically suffers from extensive weld cracking problems, necessitating additional reconstruction. Following the dissolution of the Soviet Union, Sea Wolf's premium capabilities and costs are hardly justified given the large number of Russian submarines rusting in their docks. The Sea Wolf sequence was thus simplified to just three submarines launched between 1995 and 2004, Sea Wolf Connecticut, and Jimmy Carter, numbered SSN 21 through 23. All three were based in the Pacific Ocean at Kitsap Banger Naval Base in Washington State. 
The final vessel, Carter was uniquely modified at an additional cost of $887 million into a reconnaissance and special operations submarine. Its hull is extended 30 meters to incorporate a dedicated multi-mission platform which can carry divers, or a manned or unmanned underwater reconnaissance vehicle which can be deployed using a special lock. The 12,000-ton Carter also has thrusters that allow it to maneuver more precisely in dangerous shallow waters and seabeds. He is also known to carry instruments that allow him to tap undersea cables through which the internet and other long-distance communications travel. Naturally, Carter's clandestine activities remained secret, although his receipt of multiple unit citations for unspecified reasons indicates a notable operational career. It is known to have deployed aerial drones to spy on North Korean coastal artillery, and returned to port in 2017 flying the black pirate flag traditionally thriving with the submarine returning from a patrol where it had scored a victory. In fact, all Sea Wolf class submarines have remained classified, with very few photos or articles released to the press. What reports are available indicate the submarine frequently traverses under the polar ice of the Arctic Ocean, occasionally testing special sonar and communications equipment. However, neither of the Sea Wolf subs are known to have engaged in combat, unless you count the polar bear attack on Connecticut's rudder after surfacing via the North Pole in 2003. You can see an image of the engagement taken through periscope here. Meanwhile, the more affordable Virginia class submarines, $1.8 billion each, better suited for littoral engagement entered service retaining many of the advanced features of the Sea Wolf class such as stealth pump jets, while ditching most and gold plating and utilizing greater of off-the-shelf technology. Later Virginia's also used vertical launch cells for fast ground attack capabilities. Demand for Sea Wolf's high-end capabilities may increase, due to the return of the underwater arms race involving the United States, Russia, and China. China's submarine fleet is likely to soon outnumber America's, although it is made up mostly of short-range diesel electric submarines, and even its nuclear submarines are considered to be much noisier than US submarines. Russia continues to operate the Akula and Bore class ships silently and is developing improved successes as well as the Poseidon strategic nuclear torpedo designed to destroy coastal cities. As such, the U.S. Navy is reportedly looking at the larger, more heavily armed Sea Wolf characteristics as a model for its next SSNX submarine, even if the price remains the same at $5.5 billion per submarine. <laughs>